Hey Siri, stop. Hey, good morning. It is another great day. This is your host, Jeff Ski Kinsey, coming to you from the Nissan Town Car. That's right. Now, some of you might know it as a Leaf. Okay, it's their first electric vehicle that I'm aware of. This particular unit that I bought a few months ago is a 2013 Nissan Leaf, and according to the Carfax, it's a Model S, which means it's got some special items in it, like heated seats in the front, heated steering wheel, it's leather interior. I mean, it's a very cool car. And it, other than it being white, every good deal I get on a car, it seems, has been white, with maybe one exception. So it's like number seven uh, of white cars that I got great deals on. But, yeah, it's a cool vehicle. Why did I get such a great deal on this one? Well, long story short, this car new only got 75 miles of range. Now, that is nothing. In 2013, no. <laughs> Not even good back then. But it gets worse. The car's now 11 years old, almost 12. Guess what? It only gets like 36 miles of range. Hence the nickname, Town Car. What's that mean? It means I told my wife, by the way, when I bought it, she was furious. She really was. Now, I had leased a Tesla Model X for a few months from one of my colleagues. We loved the car. Kind of expensive, but loved it. Uh, I've driven a lot of uh, Teslas, number of S's, the, the sedan, X's. I've driven one Y, and the other day I got to drive, finally, the Cybertruck. But anyhow, she was furious. So I'm working out of town on some projects, and I said, well, let me show you how to drive this so you can do whatever if you have to. She goes, oh, okay. <laughs> she has come to love it. It's just a great car. It's a great around town car. I said, look, a couple things, okay? Don't leave town, New Philadelphia, where we live. Don't go up and down any hills. That's not good. And don't get on the expressway from one side of town to the other. And you can have a lot of fun and drive it. So we drive it for all the errands, okay? We're saving probably somewhere around $80 a month by driving this for all the dumb stuff you do around town. Go to the grocery store, go to the restaurant, go to the bank, you know, go to see the kids, the grandkids, you know, whatever it might be. It is the perfect town car with only 36 miles of range. And I only use public charging. Aha. Uh -huh. We live in an older home. We've had some issues with the wiring, so we're, we've figured out, tried to figure out, you know, is there a way we can do even 110 charging at home would, uh, would be enough overnight. But I uh, haven't done that yet. So even with all these strikes against us, it's still a great car. It's still a great buy for us because I know exactly what our needs are. I bought the exact right car. I was at an event Friday in New Albany, Innovation New Albany, I think is what the, the venue is called, or Innovate New Albany, and the amazing speaker, Lindsay, who I heard last year at this event, so I want to make sure I was down there again this year, and again, I told her, I said, you know, this year was even better. Last year was great, but this year was even better, but anyhow, long story short, uh, part of my pitch, one of the cool things is, I guess it was about 70 people, maybe more, at this event. We each get 10 seconds to go around the room, tell who you are, and your 10-second elevator pitch. Okay. So, I said, hey, you've heard of Cher, you've heard of Bono, now you've heard of Ski. Okay. We remove range anxiety from people that own or are thinking about owning an EV. Was that 10 seconds? Check me on that. So a couple of people did ask me afterwards, what's that mean? I go, okay, let me ask you one question. Okay. Are you planning on driving it around, you know, going, you know, here, there, or around town, maybe local communities, maybe even across the state line occasionally, and you want to enjoy your EV to do so? This person, the first person who asked it said, yes. I said, okay, pick any Tesla you want <laughs> because I like to say Teslas, if you want to leave your backyard, the only EV you should buy today 
is a Tesla. Pick one of the models. They got sedans, they got SUVs, they got high mileage cars, they got the Cybertruck. Well, you could even buy a semi, I guess. I would get on the waiting list for one. Okay. But if you say, hey, I don't mind renting a car if we want to go somewhere, you know, and that's what we did when we first moved to Hilton Head Island, we were leasing a car. And when we'd come back up for friends and family and holidays and whatnot, we'd rent a car because we didn't want to put the miles on the lease vehicle. So if that's your mode of operation, buy any EV you want and you will not have range anxiety. Now you want to 100% eradicate it is you want to have EV charging at home and at the office if you work, okay? And there's no range anxiety. I don't have any in this town car driving around town. I don't have any driving a Cybertruck the other day with the Model X. And I took four trips uh, back and forth to uh, Myrtle Beach and or Charleston, South Carolina in it. And I learned how to drive a Tesla on a trip. Guess what? Here's my favorite expression. You want to trip on the bottom half of the battery. Okay? So what's that mean? Okay. The first three times I made that trek, I charged the battery up to 100% or 98% before we left. Okay? And, the, and one run was so bad, it says, the computer says, hey, it's going to take 12 hours. Okay? It took 15 Ouch. The last trip, I only charged enough to get to the next charger. And it wasn't chargers they recommended either, necessarily. So you got to be a little bit smart about it. But I only had like a 178-mile range when I left. But it was plenty to get me to the next charger. It was one stop, only 10 minutes. Just enough to get to the next charger. Because the battery charges so much faster when it's empty. So I'm spending so much less time at the charger... I end up doing the trip in actually 12 hours using my methodology. So, hey, I could go on and on. Here's the bottom line. If you've got a question about EVs, reach out. My company, Fast Charge, that's also the website, fastchg.com. Fast Charge Energy or Engineering is all about solving range anxiety with what we call destination chargers. In fact, Tesla uses that term as well. Okay. If it's not a supercharger and it's a Tesla, it's what they call a destination. So I've worked with a lot of resorts over my career, from Hilton Head Island, Myrtle Beach, Wilmington, to Gulf Shores, Alabama, and other spots in between, uh, Walnut Creek, Ohio, on and on. Uh, I know some things, and that's our focus. Our focus is on hospitality, on resort destinations. So... If you've got a great spot where people spend more than an hour, I'd love to talk to you about providing a solution, a secure solution, one that we monitor 24-7. We have cameras, okay? And we physically check on them several times a week. And if we think there's an issue, we run out and check it and look into it and most likely fix it, okay? So, I said all that to say, best thing to do is shoot me a text. Text the words, are you free now? Send them to my mobile, 330-992-4754. Let's have a conversation.